All right. Okay. Now it's doing its thing. There we go. Okay. Meow. That out. My PlayStation has been really weird lately. I don't know if it's my uh, my internet provider or what, but uh, every once in a while, my PlayStation just decides that it no longer has a network connection uh, through the Wi-Fi. And if I use it through the Ethernet, you would think it would be more reliable, but it actually disconnects even more. So I don't really understand it. Um, let's see, where are you telling me to go? I already looted, wait, how did I miss that stuff? Uh, Mine too. Yours does that too? Maybe, maybe it's something that happened with the, um, with the, uh, the update then, because ever since, not the most recent PlayStation update, but the one before that, uh, everything screwed up. Like, even my, um... Even my... Shock stick, 53... Okay. Um, even my titles to, you know, uh, DVD, and it'll have, like, my Kingdom Hearts fucking logo on there. I don't... I don't get it. Do you have a Slim? Uh, I do. I do. Um, okay. Yes, here we go. Once we do this, there's no going back. That's right. Um, give me that. Nothing else to take. Use terminal, redirect power. Now comes the power. Please activate all three electrical track switches. Three switches. That'll be easy enough. Supposedly. That's what they always say, Parvati. Supposedly easy. But I already went through here and murderfied everything. Um so we're good. Where to go? If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? It uh, loses its power, dear. It's just gonna be how it goes. But. Not the button. Uh, it must be upstairs. Climb, thank you. That's the last. Do, 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 do. I am gonna be very glad to take power away from Edgewater. Fuck that place. In back hello. Excuse me, ma'am. What up, Alice? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I really do, actually. I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion, though. Please My stop. feet are cold. Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. Well, I'm not I'm your sorry. diggle, that but, sort of you know, I can't help you warm them either. So. Edgewater's hurting. We've been I'd losing let you stick year them under the edge of my leg, but hardly ever you're kind of far away. There's barely enough salt tuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve How much storage does this game take up? This game takes up... Um, let me check here. Hang on one second. It's probably going to give you a blue screen. Um, 
I don't know if you can still hear me, but I'm checking my storage. Let's see. It takes... <clears throat> Come on, you. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Um, 40, uh, 43 and a half gigs. Yeah, 43 and a half gigs. Let's see. The town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. You're right. Reed tells me Edgewater's going to die without workers and power. See your point. I think I'm ready to make a decision. The deserters are a community. I can't just destroy what they've built. Um, Reed tells me Edgewater's going to die without these oh, workers that's anyway. Not bad. Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. Mm -hmm. I hate to uh, say he's it, not the one. I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's It's really dead. not nugget. Cutting the fact the game can last away. for a week, it's great. Yeah, um, the deserters are a community. You can't just destroy what they've built. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow, yeah, she's I'm really enjoying this. Like, and I'm, I'm again. definitely, it's um, plain to gonna see get she's made the my every place. every bit of it out Fed of it. the hungry, tended the sick. Because I'm enjoying the storyline. Gave so. a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Like this game is the hardcore. The fact the stories are short and sweet too makes it better. Yeah, it, like this, this, the stories that I'm learning about these individual people and the decisions I'm making. Like, I feel like I'm well informed about it. And um, I'm honestly enjoying this more than pretty much most movies that I've watched for a long time. And I see your point. I'm ready to Sorry, make a decision. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just, I felt like I had to say something. Where's the button that says, please do? I'm glad you did. I like hearing from you. Yes, that. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Please, please share what you know and you think with me, Farbody. Okay, redirect power. Uh, are you sure I want to continue? Yes, continue. Redirect power to the botanical laboratory. Edgewater. Farbody has an amazing story after Edgewater too. She does. I remember. I remember her personal storyline from watching uh, many a true nerd play this game forever ago but i don't remember most of the game i do remember her and i remember she's like basically the most popular character from this game and i i understand why she's very well written well acted it's uh but we're gonna redirect power to the botanical laboratory um we're gonna give the the metaphorical and i'm giving the literal finger to edgewater goodbye edgewater <laughs> Turn to root. You got anything to say? I can't stop thinking of Edgewater, Captain. I'm glad the deserters are going to be all right now they got power, but what about the town? All those people. Yep. <laughs> I bet it did. I enjoyed the goofball guy who is like, please let me join. I don't think I've run into him yet. I have her, and um, I also recruited the uh, the vicar. He's back on my ship. Speaking of movies, I just bought two 7X40 Hellraiser poster. Oh shit! Who's on it? Is it Pinhead or one of the other uh, one of the other? Oh, what are they called? Uh, Cenobites. I loves me some some Hellraiser. Those the first two are uh, my are my bread and butter as far as that series is concerned. Because after that they they get a little wow. But you know, um, Edgewater's gonna be pissed at me. Pinhead. Pinhead, sweet. He'd be a hell of an addition to DVD too. 
Um, let's fast travel to Edgewater and uh, philosophists written on his helmet. Oh, wow. You gotta love propaganda. Propaganda. I wonder if uh, this whole town's gonna be shooting at me. Nobody's shooting at me yet. Are you in here waiting for me? <laughs> Fast travel feels like you need to do it a lot, but if you realize how small Edgewater is, you don't need to do that. It will be soon. Desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. Um, I never knew how right I was. It's say put Parvati on passive and run. Why'd you do it? 